lovely woman uh, in uh, here in Southern California, Melissa Melendez, who is a Republican who represents a portion of the IE who has a bill to protect uh, consumers' information, consumers' rights, in essence. And, in fact, there was a quote I saw recently on Assemblywoman Melinda's, I think it was her website when I was doing some research for this upcoming segment, um, by the executive director of Covered California, who had to admit on national television that, yes, folks are upset with what we've done. And so is uh, is legislation necessary uh, to um, to protect all of our rights when it comes to this kind of information? Well, we'll explore that next with Assemblywoman Melissa Melendez, who, like I said, has uh, co-authored a bill. I think it's with Jeff Gorell, but she will uh, she will confirm that one way or the other when she joins us right now. Good morning or good afternoon, Assemblywoman, and Happy New Year. Well, thank you. Happy New Year to you, too. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, My pleasure. Uh, You um, came to my attention with in connection with this L.A. Times story, Assemblywoman, about Covered California giving consumers contact information, tens of thousands of California consumers giving out their information once they attempted to look into possibly getting coverage. Can you tell us about uh, what's the problem, what happened here, um, and uh, what can you do from your position in the state legislature to to solve it? Sure. Um, you you may recall the L.A. Times story where they explained to us how uh, Covered California was handing out willingly personal information of those who were looking to purchase insurance. Um, The typical Californian probably just found out that because of Obamacare, their insurance policy that they liked and they wanted to keep was canceled, and so they began to surf the web to see what options they had left for health care. Okay, so that's a good thing. But little did they know, they go to the site, they they put in their personal and private information so they they could get to the next step, things like name, home address, phone number, email address. Um, and this is personal and private information that these folks did not consent to giving to a third party. And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. So you're talking about people who started the process. Uh, at some point during the process, they said, you know, I'm not ready to do this yet. I will come back to this. But their information was already sent out and handed out to third party uh, individuals, and then they were contacted and wondering, well, how did you get my information? Right. Um, and, and that is not okay, yeah. right? Because, I mean, you know, Obamacare is bad, but violating the privacy rights of Californians is even worse. Well, so just so I understand what happened, so these consumers go online, uh, they enter, their their information is, is provided, but they haven't, uh, to... To simplify it, frankly, they haven't hit the purchase button basically uh, right. yet, and so they're maybe they're shopping around. Who knows? They're getting more information. They're going to possibly come back to the site. Maybe they're not. But in the meantime, Covered California, of course, has has captured this information, and without their consent, uh, they have provided personal and private information to these insurance agents, and then the insurance agents, these third parties actually went back to these consumers and said, hey, we found out that you all were or that you were actually looking into this uh, this service. What can we do to um, uh, to further the process for you? And, and then folks are saying, wait a minute, I didn't I never authorized you to have my information. I was looking on my own. Why are you contacting me? Is that is that a fair way to summarize it? That is a perfect way to summarize it. That is exactly what happened. And you have to remember, so the executive director of Covered California, right, Peter Lee, his response to the L.A. Times when they asked him about this was, oh, I can imagine some people may be upset. Well, yeah, of course. (laughs) Yeah, you've just turned over my private information to to, to insurance agents across the state that, that I am not necessarily interested in doing business with. Exactly. This was. This is not how it was supposed to roll out. And frankly, it gives people. It's very disconcerting to consumers to know that their information has been handed out freely. And beyond just the privacy rights issues, let's just acknowledge the 
I mean, the strategic failure the Democrats made with Obamacare. Obamacare was supposed to be a giveaway, and now it's a takeaway. I mean, they're taking away good health insurance that a lot of people liked, a lot of people wanted to keep, and now they're finding a way to take away people's privacy rights as well, and it's inexcusable. And is there, uh, Assemblywoman, we're talking to Assemblywoman Melissa Melendez from Assembly District 67, am I right? That's right. Okay, and just a, a brief uh, explanation, Assemblywoman, what uh, areas do you cover? Lake Elsinore, Marietta, what are some of your, your other areas? I cover Lake Elsinore, Marietta, Menifee, Wildemar, Canyon Lake, Winchester, some parts of Corona, and some un- unincorporated parts of Riverside and Temecula. Okay, and the is there... Is there nothing in place? Do we need um, do we need new legislation? I understand that you've I'm not sure what um, where you are in the process of a bill to deal with what's happened with covered California. Do we have existing legislation in place that would uh, provide protection for the consumers that's perhaps been violated or do we new do we need new legislation? Well, Covered California is saying that what they did was perfectly within the confines of the law. I, um, you know, as they say, trust but verify. So I have directed the state's lawyers and the legislature to do a thorough legal analysis of all the privacy laws and questions that may have been violated by the state. And then if we find that there's a loophole, then we'll introduce a bill that closes that loophole tight for good. And is there a timeline on when you might get that information back from the lawyers? Well, hopefully it's sometime in January so we can get rolling on this. I mean, we need to know what, uh, you know, did they do this legally or not? And I I certainly hope that they're not dragging their feet. But um, with the holidays, you know, I can can allow a little more time. But this needs to be – This needs to be figured out very, very quickly because people are not happy about this. And I've received emails and I've received phone calls from people saying, look, it's, you know, they're acting like the NSA. They're taking my information without my knowledge and we're not going to stand for it. And I don't blame them. No, and I understand that. And this is not only was it in the Los Angeles Times and where the executive director basically had said, yeah, some folks may be upset about this. It, it was on the national news as well. I, I saw right. uh, a story on it um, on at least one of the cable news channels, if not more than one. Um, so people do want answers. Um, and are you I know that it's your leadership that's uh, that's pushing the request to um, the legal team at the state legislature. Do you have other partners in the state legislature? Um, are there, is this a bipartisan effort right now, or, or is right now, is it just an effort on the Republican side of the aisle? What are we looking at politically? Well, you know, I've spoken with some of my Democrat colleagues, and they aren't terribly happy about this happening either. Um, You know, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom, he agreed. He said that that decision to share the private information has to be rectified immediately. So I think it is a bipartisan issue. I know that Assemblyman Jeff Gorell, he is also looking at uh, legislation that could keep this from happening again. So I would hope that everyone, no matter their political affiliation, would understand that private rights are not a political issue. Assemblywoman Melissa Melendez and Assemblywoman, for people that want more information about your work on this issue, um, as well as um, uh, your work in the state legislature, where can they go to find that information? They can go to the California State Assembly website. They can also follow me on Twitter, and it's ASM Melendez. Uh, ASM standing for Assembly, of course. We also have a Facebook page. There's a whole host of ways that they can find me. Assemblywoman Melissa Melendez, thank you for your time today, and um, and stay with them, all right? We're, we're behind you. I will do that. Thank you so much, Kevin. Happy New Year. All right. Happy New Year to you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this uh, the admission from Covered California uh, that on their potential overstep here is um, is of import.